A new center for cancer treatment offers hope for patients who cannot have tumors surgically removed. Elmhurst Memorial Hospital in DuPage County is now home to the CyberKnife Center of Chicago. Rose Salatino of Algonquin is one of the center's first patients. They found a, a tumor on my lungs. I have no sense. Got no pains. This, this shocked me. Although Salatino says she feels fine, Dr. Joy Coleman, who was treating her at the center, says she's lucky they found the tumor before the symptoms showed. She's actually an excellent CyberKnife candidate because as far as we can tell, she has locally advanced lung cancer, meaning she has a tiny cancer that hasn't spread to the lymph nodes or to any other part of the body. And that's good news for Salatino because the CyberKnife is excellent at aiming radiation at discrete targets. The actual machine is something, something like eight years old. Uh, and there's about 150 of them worldwide. We probably have the most up-to-date model in the country right now since ours was just installed. There are three other machines in the Chicago area, but the CyberKnife at Elmhurst is the closest for Salatino. Nurse Maria Gatz is Salatino's daughter. She is standing by her 80-year-old mother through the process. Gatz says because Salatino has previous lung conditions, she cannot have the conventional surgery for lung cancer. They have been unable to um, go in and operate, she cannot have anesthesia. So this cyber knife allows them to be able to treat this without having to put her to sleep. Radio surgery is a perfect alternative for her because we can treat this lung cancer with radiation using high doses of radiation and get uh, survival rates that are almost equivalent to surgery. The cyber knife delivers small high dose radiation beams from different angles around the patient while minimizing damage to surrounding tissue. And according to Coleman, it feels just like getting an x-ray. You don't feel anything. On a cellular level, it damages the DNA. The cancer cells aren't able to repair it, and then the tumor cells die. With no anesthesia or invasive surgery, Salatina will be able to get up and walk away normally straight after the treatment. I'm excited about it. I want to get it over with. I know what's going on. This way I could go out and have a ball. The only thing that she might feel is a little bit of fatigue. I always warn people, because we are treating the lung, that there's a risk that we'll damage her normal lung or that she'll have cough or trouble breathing. But I think the chance of that happening in her are very, very small. Although the cyber knife is used to treat hard to reach tumors, it may not be the best option for everyone. It's a matter of looking at all the different modalities that are possible, surgery, radio surgery, standard radiation, chemo, and picking which one's the best in that particular case. For the cyber knife, therapists molded a pillow to Salatino on the table where she would receive treatment. Then she had a CT scan to locate the tumor. Physicists worked with Dr. Coleman to map out a radiation plan for the machine so that it's programmed to send dosages to the correct areas of Salatino's body. After just three hourly treatments, Salatino was done. I, I felt that I wanted this thing over with. I felt like I was on cement on the board. And that was okay. Oh, those big uh, machines that go back and forth. And there's nothing to harm you. You just lay there and, and do what you told. <laughs> She's tolerated it very, very well. She, as far as I can tell, hasn't had any side effects of treatment at all. I would think if somebody else, if this is an option for them, I think it's wonderful. As for the tumor, Salatino and her daughter will just have to wait and see whether the cyber knife treatment worked permanently. Tara Kerpelman, Medill Reports.